Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I have two Civivi Chronics. Now real quick, specs on screen. This is a flipper style blade and I believe they also have a front flipper version and some models come with a Damascus steel blade as well. It's got a clip point blade and a gorgeous hollow grind. I mean this thing is super slicey. I use my own personal chronic as a steak knife and yeah it just cuts through it like butter. It's 9CR 18 MOV steel so you're getting a very good blade steel for the money and as you guys can tell it's got blue G10 handles and a blue G10 backspacer. This knife is riding on bearings so the action is super smooth and fast. One of the things I really like about this blade and it has really good ergos for how small and thin this blade is. It's actually got a front finger choil right here so you can really really choke up on that blade and this is a liner lock and it's got a really nice reversible deep carry pocket clip and that's that is pretty darn deep. So it goes a little bit above the scales themselves and the backspacer protrudes just a little bit more than that since they provide you with a lanyard hole. But all around just a really, really good knife. Now as I mentioned in the beginning, I do have two of them. So you know, I can really chop my vegetables if I want to. But uh, let's get to Let's get to the changes that I'm gonna be doing to these blades. So these are both going to get brass scales and I will be doing pretty much the same design that these scales have with these beveled edges or the angles. And I'll probably add some other ones that I think will be really nice on the scales themselves. Now the customer wanted different colored backspacers. So I, I got some natural G10 which I'll create the backspacers, and then I will dye them to the colors that the customer wanted. Another thing I will be doing is eliminating a pocket clip on just one of the blades, and then keeping the pocket clip on one of them, and deleting the show side option for the pocket clip. I will also be getting rid of the lanyard holes. It's another thing the customer wanted. So that will not be a problem. Now there will be a little bit of a struggle when I get to the pivot pin hole. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we take these apart. So let's take them apart and see what we're dealing with. All right, so here they are both taken apart and it's a fairly simple design. There's not really much going on. Basically have three screws holding everything together. Now the part that will be a little bit challenging for me, like I said earlier, is when I drill out the pivot hole and countersink it, I'm gonna have to create a little bump in the new scales to where the pivot screw actually sits into. There's just a little insert right here that falls into place on the scale. So you can see the bump right there. So that will be the most challenging part about this build. So I believe I can get past it. And now that we know the changes, let's get to uh, customizing this thing.
All right, so here they are customized. Now, as you guys saw from the video, I added an additional two different angles on the scales, and I'm super happy with how these things turned out. Really, really nice, nice and straight. But as you guys can tell from the original, the top of the scale and the bottom of the scale didn't have any angles, so I decided to Create some angles at the top and at the bottom. I also wanted to mention that the pivot hole or the pivot pin hole wasn't centered on the knife itself. As you guys can see from the original, the angle kind of dug into the recessed pivot pin area. So I didn't like that since it was kind of going into the pivot pin. So what I did was I just matched the angles on both sides and so that it's centered and we don't have a, a weird 
angle hitting the recessed area. So I, I think it just looks a lot cleaner and just a lot, a lot better in my opinion. But that's what I did with the scales. And then I also skeletonized all four of them just to lighten it a little bit. It doesn't do that much of a difference, but it does take a little bit of the weight away. So super happy with how they all turned out. Another thing I wanted to mention about the scales is that the pivot pin has a little, little gap right here to keep it from spinning when you are tightening down or loosening the pivot pin. So as you guys can see from the original, there's a little, a little nick right there and that holds the pivot pin in place while turning the screw but I wasn't able to mill it in the the scales themselves. I tried a few times, but I kept messing up. So unfortunately I had to create a very, very tiny stop pin. And yeah, that's, <laughs> again, it's, it's a pain. And once the customer takes this knife apart to clean it or for whatever reason, you will have to keep this in mind since this keeps the pivot pin from spinning. So I'm gonna have to put this in place. I'm gonna use a little bit of grease just to hold it in place so it doesn't move while I'm installing it. But it does lock the pin in place and it keeps it from spinning when you're tightening it down. And then also for each different knife, I had to create two new backspacers. So luckily I had some natural G10 and it's very close to turquoise. So super happy with this. And this one is going to be turquoise. And then the other one will, this is just for the assembly process, but this one will be red. I'm still waiting for the material to come in. So for video purposes, I'm just gonna put them together and show you what they're like. So in the photos that I take of this knife later on, it will have a red backspacer, just like the customer wanted. So one will have a pocket clip and then the other one's not going to have any pocket clip. So now that we talked about what the changes were, let's, uh, let's get to putting these things together and see what they look like. Now I will be assembling these on a paper towel, just cause I don't want to scratch the finish. Because uh, if that happens, then I got to disassemble it and then put the finish back in. It's just going to be a long process. So I'm just going to be extra careful. So here we go. All right, so here they are put together and I am very happy with how these things turned out. Now I'm trying really hard not to scratch the finish on these, so I'm gonna be extra gentle with them. But I forgot to mention that on the outside angles, I actually went against the grain. So the center is has the grain where it's just going up and down and then on the outside it's going side to side as you guys can see there so you just have just a different variety of grain so i just think it looks good let me know what you guys think down in the comments below how these things turned out this one's with the pocket clip as you guys can see here very deep carry since i got rid of that the lanyard hole in the backspacer so I mean this thing is literally gonna vanish in your pocket so really cool and the action on these is just as good as before and they fly right out super smooth nice drop shot action and then the blade is centered as well that's how you know you done did it right so there's that one and then this is just the clean version with no pocket clip, which I think just looks really good. 
So really beautiful there. Same with the grain. Just pops. And yeah, fingerprints just love to get on this thing. So action's good on this one as well. It even has a different sound since the the brass is on there. It's just more of a solid sound. But anywho, here they are all finished. Since we had the CEO twins, I guess now we have the Chronic twins. There they are, the Chronic twins. Again, uh, feel free to share these videos, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.